You're listening to Manx Radio and I'm Judith Lay welcoming you to the podcast of Today at the Guild, results and winning performances from the Manx Music, Speech and Dance Festival. Manx Radio coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. Fast am I, a very good evening to you and this is Judith welcoming you to tonight's edition of Today at the Guild. It is so good to be with you. We can create our virtual late night lounge, can't we? Even though it's not Sunday night, we can open the lounge doors and welcome you in because you really need to come in, relax, just imagine yourself in a comfy chair. You could imagine yourself in a comfy chair in the Royal Hall in the Villa Marina or down in the Promenade Suite or in the beautiful setting of St. Thomas's Church, and I will bring you some fabulous performances. Already we've had something like, up until last night, we'd had about 72 different classes. We've had loads more today, and still more to come, and we have had some wonderful entertainment, everything from instrumental groups to fine solo singing to ensembles, and I've got so much to share with you, because of course we have winning performances to catch up on from the previous days that I just simply haven't had enough time to play for you. So... On we go. We were talking last night about the bands where there was a great success for Russian Silver Band and for Onken Silver Band. They did very well indeed. Manx Concert Brass are going to entertain you now. They were snapping on the heels of those who won again very high scoring performance. And here's a beautiful piece from their concert performance. This is Manx Concert Brass, as always under the baton of Ian Clegg. And a lovely piece from Brave Heart for the love of a princess, Manx Concert Brass. <laughs> Thank you. 
people were just longing to applaud there, weren't they? Isn't that a beautiful, sensitive playing there from Manx Concert Brass, a part of their concert performance on Sunday night? And that was from Braveheart for the love of a princess. Now let's listen to some young voices. And uh, the Sheffield Plate, as I'm sure you know, is the highest award that the Guild makes for young voices. And it's qualified, the qualifiers are the solo voice classes for boys and girls and the winners of each of the classes will come together on Friday night in the Royal Hall at six o'clock for the final. And so we had two more places allocated today by the winners of the girls' solo class for years uh, three and four, school years three and four, so that's uh, eight, around about eight and nine years of age. And uh, the class that followed it, girls' solo class for uh, years uh, 10 and 11-year-olds. Now, the winners of both classes are young ladies who have qualified for the Sheffield Plate before. But, of course, that doesn't count at all, except perhaps um, for a little bit of experience of, of you know, being in, in a final. Um, because everybody's performance is judged on the night in the final, just on that. It's, it's you know, your, anything you, you've done before in the class before, that has just is a, a qualifier. It's actually how you sing on the night, as you would imagine. So let's listen now to uh, two young ladies who will be singing again on Friday night. We start off with Cara Rolls and uh, both of these girls full of personality and terrific voices. And the adjudicator, Catherine Page, was full of praise for all the singers. Again, our adjudicators, so encouraging and supportive, but also so impressed by the general quality of everybody taking part in the classes. So let's listen now. Accompanied by Wendy McDowell, this is Cara Rolls. And the set piece for this class is A Coconut Man. This is Cara Rolls. <laughs> Watch that man climbing that tree, running up big strokes so nimbly. With a smile and wave of his hand to the people down below. Oh, lovely Mr. Coconut Man, please cut them down as quick as you can. And we will catch them before they hit, before they shells and drink all the milk yes it really tastes delicious eat the nuts and rest for a while in our island on the sun oh lovely mr coconut man please cut them down as quick as you can and we will catch them before they hit before Isn't that great? Cara Rose and uh, telling us all about the Coconut Man. Now, I don't know about you, but when I listen to these set songs for the young singers, they're really complicated songs. Often they're quite long and they often, as the adjudicators are the first to admit, they often have quite a few challenges in them. But our young people just don't seem to have too much trouble at all. Of course, it is all about the practising, isn't it? And the support that they're given and encouragement from their teachers. Now, let's listen to the winner of the next class. This is Loena Jockin, and this is the girls' solo class for 10 and 11-year-olds. 
Wendy McDowell, again, working very, very hard, accompanist for this class. And Loena is going to sing a very different song. This is called The Owls. Loena Jockin. Lovely singing there from Luena Jockin, accompanied by Wendy McDowell. And uh, the adjudicator, Catherine Page, said particularly how well Luena had got the, the the delicate sound of the cry of the owl in that song, the contrast that was essential to, to, to make the song work. And she was particularly complimentary about that. So we know that Luena and Cara will be singing on Friday night. I'll let you know as the list of other singers build up. We know that Parker Kissack will be there too because he won his place in the boys' treble solo class. Uh, that was uh, yesterday, Monday. And we know that Lila King will be singing again. Lila won the girls' solo class for uh, six- and seven-year-olds. And Lila, of course, is the current holder of the Sheffield Plate. So it'll be a great competition if you can get down to the villa six o'clock on Friday night. It will be lovely. You'll hear all the young singers and it will be great to give them lots of support because having lots of people in the audience does make a big difference. Now, here's a real treat for you. We've been talking about Wendy McDowell working very hard as an official accompanist, which indeed she has done so far and will continue to do throughout the week. However, she's also been a competitor. She, with her duet partner, Kath Blackburn, won the piano duet class. Listen to this. This is part of their winning performance. Kath Blackburn and Wendy McDowell, winners of the piano duet class.
Did you enjoy that? I thought you would. I wonder if you could guess the melody from the quite long introduction to that piece. It always catches me out. T for two. Terrific playing there from Kath Blackburn and Wendy McDowell, winners of the piano duet class. The demands of the competition were two pieces of their own choice, but they had to be very contrasting pieces. And they certainly were the other piece that Kath and Wendy chose, a complete contrast to that. And I promise you it will feature in another programme later in this week. But we're going to move on now with uh, duets of a different kind, from piano duets to vocal duets. And this was a, a selection of terrific classes that was in the Royal Hall last night. And we, we had a mixed voice, operatic, uh, male voice and uh, a ladies' voice duet, any voice trios, quartets, tenors and basses, quartets, sopranos, altos, tenors and basses. So great variety of voices, great variety of music. And it was, I am told, a very, very entertaining evening. And listening to the recordings, I can well believe that. And we're going to listen to some of the recordings now. And I think this might be a good moment for me to pay tribute to the two people without whom none of this would be possible. And it's my wonderful support and portable brain and just all round terrific person, Tim Price, who run, runs around getting all the recordings and doing all the, 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 the rendering and preparation so that I just have the pleasure of playing all the music for you. And he's ably assisted by Bob Allison and I'm very, very grateful to both of them. We're going to uh, dip into the uh, uh, operatic duet class now and we're going to listen to... Um, no, we're not. We're not, actually. You see, you see, this is it. This is it. I lost the plot completely because I was so enjoying listening to the the duet, that, that T for Two, that I was, uh, I was looking and seeing um, which... I've got the music already, but I got the wrong page in the programme. So you are going to hear the operatic duet, but you're going to hear something else first. Oh dear, I'm not really fit to be let out, am I? This is the Ladies' Voice duet, and it was a first place for Helen Ferner and Nicola O'Connor. Shannon Dorr was their choice. They won the class with 88 marks. And again, the accompanist for this class is Wendy McDowell. A winning performance here from Helen Ferner and Nicola O'Connor. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. Thank you. 
And that was another of those moments, wasn't it, when the audience was enjoying it so much they didn't start to applaud till the, the final note had died away. That's a beautiful song, isn't it? And so suited the voices of Helen Ferner and Nicola O'Connor. And that was Shannon Dorr, a class-winning performance there in the Ladies' Voice Duet. Now, again, this is a qualifying class because the winners of the Ladies' Voice Duet, the Male Voice Duet and the Mixed Voice Duet, they also will sing again at the end of the week for the Balloon Rose Bowl. And that competition, the Balloon Rose Bowl competition, a reprise of these three duet performances, will again form part of Friday night's entertainment in the Royal Hall. We start the evening, as I mentioned, with the Sheffield plays, and then the Balloon Rose Bowl final will form part of Friday night's entertainment. So, from Helen and Nicola, let's just press pause on the duets for a moment and go to the class that started last evening in the Royal Hall, and that was the class, the Victorian or Edwardian Ballad solo class, adult singers. Gareth Moore is the accompanist for this class, and we had a collection of fine voices here. But the honours went to Simon Bampton. And Simon isn't somebody that I've played on the radio too much recently, so really nice to have this opportunity to put that right. Simon's choice was O Solo Mio, and here he is to sing for you. He won the Victorian or Edwardian Ballad class with 89 marks. As I say, his accompanist, Gareth Moore. This is Simon Bampton. <laughs> Thank you. 
singing there from Simon Bampton, accompanied by Gareth Moore. And he took first place with 89 marks in the Victorian or Edwardian ballad solo singing class. And uh, it's own choice, but it has to be a song written before 1920. Now, we are going to come back to our duets in a moment, but as I always say to you, I do tend to pop back over previous days to bring you some more performances just to kind of mix up and bring you the variety that is a is the key part of the Guild. So in my reports on it, I try to, to bring that variety through just in the short space that we have. And I'm going to go back to a class from Saturday night in the Royal Hall. And this is the vocal ensemble class, uh, and adult, adult singers, and... We've listened on a previous report to uh, the winners of the class who are an ensemble drawn from Manx Voices Choir. Coreg and Vanin is the ensemble and they sang for us What a Wonderful World. But uh, Glen Faber Chorale also had two ensembles in this class, a mixed ensemble, that I get a group drawn from the main Glen Faber Choir and the Glen Faber Ladies Ensemble. And uh, Sarah Jeffries, the adjudicator, was particularly complimentary about their singing of this piece by Marion Weaver, I Walked Into the Garden. This is the Glen Faber Ladies Ensemble. into the garden, the Glen Faber Ladies Ensemble singing for you there. And uh, the, the, I was just noticing that, or rather remembering, I should say, that that same evening where we had the vocal ensemble classes, we ended the evening with the Anything Goes class. And uh, this is just building in popularity and there were loads of people in the Royal Hall to enjoy it. And it's, it isn't something that really lends itself to recording and playing for you because, the, as the title suggests, you can do literally anything at all as long as you stick to the theme that has been set. And this year it was just the 80s and the gives its time limit of six minutes and you can take that theme and you can interpret it in any way that you like. It can be it can be dance, it can be drama, it can be spoken word, it can be a mixture of everything. 
And so you can imagine that it can be quite difficult to record that and to do it full justice. And you know what I always say, unless I can really bring you the performance as closely as it is in, in the actual hall, then I'm very, very reluctant because I want you to get the best Guild experience. But I must just tell you about the winners of the class. Marks are not awarded, which is quite right, because, you know, it's like comparing apples and pears. If you can interpret the theme in any way, it's better just for the adjudicator to pick one person that they think was the best expression of the theme. But marks are not given for this one. But the adjudication is given. Everybody is given a a comment and, and, and some, you know, supportive comments about what they have done. Now, the winners were the Unity Glee Project Supergroup, and they based everything that they did around uh, Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer. So afterwards, I was talking to the person who I thought was at the heart of it, and in, in fact, she was, but, and that's Danielle Brideson, who runs the Arts Hub Glee Club. Well, she runs the Arts Hub, of which they have a, a glee club. And so I said, come on, tell me ab- about this. And she said, well, we decided that we could do a collaboration between three groups. And she said, so she drew together The Rock Project and Dave Rolls was spearheading that bit of it. And then the Unity Dance School. And that was Lindsay Brown who was looking after that side of it. And then Danielle concentrated on the Glee Club from her own arts hub. And she said we ended up with around about 64 children. She said we had only one rehearsal with everybody together. They'd all been rehearsing individually. But she said it was, we, we could only really have one rehearsal the night before the class with everybody together, 64 children. And I have to tell you, they were absolutely buzzing, the children, because they're all ages and they were brilliant, fantastic. They were the winners of the class. But I thought it was a great idea, a great way to do it, to pull in three different groups with with different disciplines. But everybody really had a great time. So well done. Congratulations to the Arts Hub Glee Club and the Rock Project and the Unity Down School, who together interpreted Living on a Prayer and won the Anything Goes class. Right, let's go back to the music now. And uh, I promised you that we were going to have some lovely duets. And that's what we're going to do. This one, the winners of the Mixed Voice Duet, two people who are singing beautifully this week, both of them doing very well indeed. They've had individual class wins and the class win singing together. So winners of the Mixed Voice Duet, Again, accompanist on for this class, Wendy McDowell, and the winners are Neil Taverner and Deborah Gooding, and they're singing a beautiful piece that I know you're going to enjoy, sure on this shining night. This, Neil and Debbie, winners of the Mixed Voice Duet. <laughs> Oh, 
Morton Lauriston's Shore on this shining night. Neil Tavner and Deborah Gooding. Clouds winners there with 91 marks and such a quality class. And in second place with Graham Crow and Nicola O'Connor singing Ed Carl Jenkins' Ave Verum at 90 marks. And the adjudicator, Sarah Jeffries, when she was giving out these marks, she said, you know, she said, in a festival I'll perhaps give out one or or maybe two marks of 90 or slightly more. She said, I'm giving them away all over the place here. This is not like me at all. But then again, there's nothing quite like our Manx Music Festival, is there? And uh, uh, Neil and Debbie did very well indeed in the operatic duet class. They got 90 marks, which might very well have been a class win, but it wasn't. It took them to second place in the operatic duet class. That First place with 91 marks goes to Jane Corkill and Ruth Tickle with a, a piece that is so popular, so beautiful. From uh, Lacme by Delib. this is Jane Corkill and Ruth Tickle to sing for you the flower duet. They are the winners of the operatic duet class. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.in. Oh, 
And as you can hear, that went down very, very well in the Royal Hall. Beautiful voices of Jane Corkill and Ruth Tickle. The accompanist for that class was Wendy McDowell, operatic duet winners. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Now, just before we completely run out of time, I've got a lovely piece of piano music and I've got some organ music for you. But I just want to tell you that there's a terrific competition just brewing up and that is for places for the Cleveland medal test. Now, this is a slightly different way of qualifying for this. We had the three men's voice classes today and it's all about how many marks you get because it's the highest marks between the six classes that will go forward to compete for the Cleveland medal at the end of the week. We know that Timothy Asbridge was the tenor solo class winner with 88 marks Neil Taverner got 90 marks and won the special baritone solo class and Graham Crow in terrific voice got 90 marks for the special bass solo class now they're all high marks but will they be high enough to secure Timothy, Neil and Graham a place in the final because tomorrow we have got the sopranos, the mezzos and the contraltos all singing all together there will be 12 Females singing those spread across those voice types and it will be the six highest marks who will compete for the Cleveland medal. So nothing is secure. The competition is still out there. So it's going to be a fantastic afternoon in the Royal Hall tomorrow. It starts with the Sopranos at at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. If you can get down, it will be wonderfully entertaining and we will know by the end of the day who are the six highest marked finalists. If you can't be down there, what do I say? Keep listening to Manx Radio and I will bring the Guild to you. We'll be talking all about this tomorrow night on the programme as we go to the Guild. Tomorrow at the Guild at nine o'clock we'll be talking all about that. But before that, let's play you some more music. And uh, this is just glorious piano music from a class winner, one of uh, the slightly old, young but, but slightly older players, and this is the very talented Lisa Martin, and she's going to play for you Pink Minor.
Pink Minor. Terrific playing there from class winner Lisa Martin. And uh, judging by the classes that Lisa has entered this week, I would say she's somewhere between 16 and 18. What a skilled player. And uh, she had 89 marks winning the class there for piano solos for year 11 and over. Terrific. Thank you very much, Lisa. And I've only got a matter of seconds left to say to you that we're going to play out with the winner of the Intermediate Organ Class. He is Chris Callow, whose father won the Pollard Trophy for Advanced Organ Playing back in 1940. Thank you to Chris Callow for terrific playing and thank you for listening to Today at the Guild. I'll be back nine o'clock tomorrow night. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. 